Hello, welcome back to the Project Hercules Diaries. Quite a good day today because number one, it's my birthday and we went out for dinner, it's very good. Uh, and number two, the engine went in this morning and since then we bolted all the engine plates in. I put the exhaust stubs on just to see how they're going to look. I put the uh, inlet manifold on and fitted the carb as well. So that just gives you a bit more of an idea of how it's going to look when it's all finally in the bike. I know it's all got to come off in a bit and the engine's got to be pulled down for final assembly but these things are easier to do uh, in case there's any issues when the engine has got not much in it. I still have to make a head steady for the top of the, the motor although looking at the engine plates and everything else uh, it probably doesn't need one we might as well put it there and the other thing I did today is to fit the Dynastart and the Dynastart's gone in quite well because it lines up very nicely with the mandrel that the drive sprocket is going to be uh, fitted to on the end of the crankshaft so we've had a straight edge across there that that lines the, the chain up very nicely the uh, adjustment uh, I'm going to make a, a bracket here that allows us to adjust the tension of the, the chain because that that needs to be uh, adjustable um, and that is 90 degrees between the, the pivot point and the adjustment point to the line between the centers of the two shafts so we'll get the, the maximum adjustment there when we when we uh, adjust just the turnbuckle screw or rotate it on the plate depends how I make that adjustment but in, in all though I think the Dynastart looks quite nice on there uh, I've managed to use the um, extend the, the line here uh, and put a bolt on each end of just a bit of silver steel these are just copper bits of copper pipe to start with but at some point I'll make some nice brace, spaces in brass um, but at least as, as a, as a mock-up you get to see how it'll look and I don't think it looks too bad. It doesn't look too out of place. It's fairly central and it's tucked in behind the motor quite neatly there. Don't forget that's also the dynamo as well as a starter motor. So when it comes to starting the bike or charging the electrics, that is it. Obviously, it reminds me that I've got to wire the thing up at some point and make a bit of a fuse box and the battery box and the list of jobs to get the bike actually rideable is quite uh, substantial. But it's best not to think about all of the things that you've got to do and just do one job at a time and then eventually before you know it it's ready to uh, ride down the road that's the plan anyway so there we go that's my day today hope you've all had a good day thank you for watching as usual and more updates will follow